Hey, welcome to a Hearts of Iron 4 video and this is my first uh, achievement guide and we will be doing two achievements today so single player, new game, 1936 and we're gonna go with the United Kingdom so make sure you're in regular Iron Man and I'm going to stick to historical focuses because I want to know what the AI is doing so let's get started okay so United Kingdom 1936 uh, this is the state uh, we're pretty beefy um, we have colonies we hold Canada and India but actually we're going to take a different route and the two achievements we're going to go are hoofing it which is the United Arabia with 30 cavalry divisions. Um, we might end up getting Brits Creek and we will also be trying to go for House of Kurds, which is as Kurdish 10 hold all of your course. So you can see I already have those achievements done, but you know, the point for you is to get. So for our research, we're going to go for the standard mechanical computing. We're going to get basic machine tools, construction one, and I like to get fighter one. Okay, so for civilian factors, we're going to max them out here, here, and I like to put two here. And for national focuses, we're going to do a change in course. And you will see where we're going with this. For production, I like to get rid of the bombers. I like to get rid of light tanks. I'm gonna prioritize um, these things. We have 14 military factories, that's not bad. We could also start getting on anti air, but because I wanna get fighters for me right now, um, you know, maybe put four there. And for our ships, and for our ships, um, we have a few that are going to be done soon. I'm going to get rid of this one and this one because they're going to get done in 38. They're really good ships, but, you know, I don't want to. And I'm also going to get rid of this one. I'm not going to get rid of the carrier. Um, I think that they're, they're okay. You keep them. And because this destroyer is almost done, I'm going to put the extra ones there and then I'm gonna put a few extra ones on the subs so that they get done quickly okay for the setup of our army here's what I like to do I like to bring every single division we have to London in the this area and I think I'm gonna end up switching at least 24 of them to our standard infantry division lastly I just merge all of my fleets into one big fleet and same for the air wings I'm just gonna park them all in London we have some air wings here we have some here don't forget to hold shift okay and also bring them to London so with this we can just hit play and get started okay so after a while I think Every single one of our planes has gone in here. I'm gonna merge all of our air wings so that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create two uh, air wing this size. I'm gonna get rid of our naval bombers and I'm gonna set the fighters to 400. And now I'm gonna make them all 100 size air wings. And as we get the dog yards freed up. I'll just put a few on the cruisers and other ones on submarines so they get done. And that's pretty much the setup which we will start. Lastly, I'm going to go for all of the divisions switched up. And I'll probably see you once the changes course is finished or later. Okay, so here's uh, one of the few important events. Um, King George V dies. So with this we, we get Edward VIII 
and soon we will have our abdication crisis so um, make sure that you're choosing the right things so that we can choose the focuses we need okay so with a change in course complete now we're gonna turn here and I would like to reinforce the Empire for that stability we could also go for limited rearmament okay so we just got this two events um, there's nothing we can do about it and we should just let uh, this is a battle for the Bosporus event so if you don't have it you might not get this event we'll just back Turkey we might as well get some access there because we're turning our eyes towards Turkey eventually so and as you saw everything went well so right now we have enough PP to hire a political advisor we could get this guy because he will not leave if we change our ideology however I think there's other things we could um, take advantage of we're gonna need military experience um, we're also gonna need the lighter craft designer for now our our best choice is to get Harold Alexander to get that small military experience in you may not need it and you may um... okay so with reinforce the Empire on the next thing I would like to do is limit our rearmament because that's gonna give us four uh, civilian factors which is really good okay so we have an open research slot I will go for this first industry I really want to keep that efficiency when we switch to better technologies so for me that's very important now um, the research for fighter one finished I'm gonna get some interwar artillery and I'm also going to get this I will just switch to the hurricane I want to get that fighter one as soon as I can you can see how my military production is looking um, I haven't switched anything around yet okay so this is probably the most important event in all of this playthrough um, it is the abdication crisis if you want to read you should pause there are two choices here on what we want to do um, both are this two below have to do with staying with Edward VIII if you don't want to you can choose one of this I am going to do the more genetic marriage however if you're trying to go for the achievement that requires you to have Wallace Simpson as the Queen then you should do the royal marriage okay Okay, so at this time we have finished limited rearmament. We cannot go down for, through the king's party yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do service overseas and the colonial elite. Um, just those two focuses are really good and they're going to help us. We also have some political power if you would like to hire someone. I will not hire anyone yet um, because we're going to get a few um, advisors later with King Edward. I also would try to get the lighter craft designer because I'm gonna go for fighter 2 as soon as I can. Okay so now that the event has fired that has to do with the abdication crisis we're gonna get some of these events. If you choose the bottom one, uh, the one regarding abdication, you will not be able to complete the King's party so you will always have to take the unfortunate law. Okay, we got now another research slot, and importantly, we also got this kicking off, the Spanish Civil Conflict. Um, however, with our research slot open, I would like to go for superior firepower. Um, that's the doctrine I will be using through this playthrough. And with Spain, I cannot land lease them yet, so we should switch ideologies and then see if we can gain some military experience through them. So we got another one of these events 
and we always choose the one that benefits us. Okay, and this is one of the important ones. This is the last um, chance for you to switch your mind, please do not. But we can just, you know, set a date for the marriage and then that's going to open up the King's Party focus. Okay, so we have a good batch of political power now and we have a few choices we can make. We can ramp up conscription, go to free trade. But for now, because I, I really want to focus on, on getting fighter 2, I will hire the light aircraft designer. Also, when we finally do the abdication crisis, we're going to lose a lot of political power. So we might as well spend it now. So I just got another event uh, where Edward gave a speech on the radio and that gave me more political power, um, which maybe will help me get another advisor. I, at this point, you know, you could go into free trade, you can ramp up to limited conscription. I would wait to get one of this uh, new that you get when you do the King's Party focus. You could also get, you know, an infantry expert or an attack person. Um, I think for now, you know, there are a lot of benefits to free trade, so I'll go with that. And by the way, um, I'm going to exercise my planes to level 3 as well as my army. I want to get at least 10 military experience so I can get a 7-2 basic template done. Um, as you can see, I'm short of army experience, but that's the... That's, those are the short-term goals for now, okay? Okay, so I know I got another one of these events that the working classes are supporting the marriage. So, you know, you you don't want to not say yes to the abdication crisis. Okay, so here's another very important event. You get the cabinet to resign and... Um, as you can see, you're going to lose 15% stability, you're going to lose a lot of political power, and you're also going to get a fallen government, but that's going to continue the marriage preparation. So, you know, it's something you got to get through. You can see now we have the House of Commons, but it's all empty. Soon we're also going to start losing the, the puppets and the dominions we have. As you can see, uh, I have one more military factor, I think. I put it on guns. I'm finishing up these cruisers and destroyers. I'm actually making a few more destroyers. Um, and that's pretty much all for now. Okay, so I just got three research slots open. So I am going to get a air doctrine. I am also going to get construction two and improve machine tools. And as I already have 15 army experience, I am going to duplicate this and make you know a very basic 7-2 um, this is one of the best divisions that you can use in single player against the AI and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get okay, I need one more okay to switch to 7-2's you don't really need to pay a lot of attention to the lack of equipment but 24 divisions that's gonna be fine and we can have some of this in reserves because, you know, uh, we're going to have to do some invading soon. So, okay, so we just got a really bad event. Uh, this is probably, you know, the toughest one. Uh, we lose all of the dominions, which also makes us lose stability and political power. Um, but as you can see, I have done service overseas, encourage colonial elite. Um, we still cannot go for the King's Party, so the only choice, well, there's not enough war, war tension for either of this, so I would just wait. Let's see how much. Okay, we have 48 days for the abdication crisis, so either we get a bit more war tension to do the shadow scheme, or we can get the King's Party. So whatever happens first, I'll show. Once we... However, once this becomes available, we are going to try to rush this focus and then this three focuses. Or foci, foci, 
because it's a Latin word and the plural is said differently. Okay, so we got another research slot open and I'm just going to do the second superior firepower thing. And as you can see, I have negative 47 PP and there's not enough world. Oh, actually there is now, so I'm gonna start doing this. Oh, by the way, my planes stopped they're all level 3, that's really good as you can see. And lastly, we get the event that the royal marriage is happening. We get some political power, we get some stability. And once the shadow scheme is done, we should be able to take the king's party focus, which is really good. So, shadow scheme just finished, and I'm gonna go to this side of the tree and take the king's party. It's important that right after we take God Save the King and then we can take one of these ones. I just got a, a few events. I think this one's related to Battle of the Bosporus and the Bulgarian Tree. I, I mean, I don't think it matters much, so I'm just going to take the first option. And then, oh, I think I'll just do this one because... I don't care about Bulgaria, but it'll probably join the Axis, um, so yeah. I just got another two research slots open, so you can see this is what I'm doing. I think we could also continue doing a few of our uh, air doctrines, and I'm going to get logistics companies. Another thing I'm also doing, I just started doing this, exercise my navy, um, watch your fuel, because you do get a lot of experience once the um once you have fuel but if you don't have fuel you won't gain as much experience don't forget that to click this button it's very helpful so a few things have happened um i finished the king's party now i'm doing god save the king um, i'm sending a land list to national spain just to get some army experience and the conflict here in china has started as well as a little conflict between India and Pakistan that happens when they get independence. Right now, this is too far ahead. Um, I guess I could do this. You know, at this point, research is important, but it's not that big of a deal. Once you have enough political power, which I don't think I have right now. Oh, I do. Okay, and they still have this national spirit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this army, the one I trained, and we'll start to set a naval invasion. Let's get someone with high attack. I think he works. Um, what I like to do is open two or three bitch heads and then bring the rest of the army. So... The max amount of divisions we can put in a naval ambition it's going to be 10. So I'm going to do 3 bitch heads and 3 units in each. set up all of my naval invasions those will be ready and I think I will start a justification once this focus completes yep I also finished exercising my air wings you can see they're all level 3 now and I've been exercising my navy now we don't have that, that much fuel but we just need a little bit of supremacy in the English channel in order to get the naval invasion so Okay, so now that God Save the King has finished, I will go down this route, the tree, and I'm going to start my justification on France. So can occur this area, it doesn't matter. As you can see, our naval invasions are almost ready, which is really good. And we can, you know, even get some, one, some random invasion here or something, which I think I will do, actually. Um, they have to be on the same sea zone, so I will just do it here. Oh, that's not gonna work because it crosses to this part. So I'll just 
to it here. Okay. Okay, so a few things happened. The conflict started in China right now. Um, they asked me for docking rights. I gave them. I don't see more, that making much of a difference. I also started to research MPs and I put up a naval invasion here as well, Dunkirk. And now I'm just waiting for our justification to finish. Okay, so the other focus just finished and I will do this one now. Um, the alliance with Germany could be rushed. I, I, it doesn't matter if you do the non-interference treaty. You could also go for general rearmament or industrial effort. I just want to get this one out of the way for now. Um, our justification with France also still going. I might have to import some fuel just so that we can have our stockpiles right ready before the justification ends which is going to end on January of 1938 so that's good so the US just passed the neutrality act uh, right now I will also go for mobile defense and okay, that's a bit too far ahead I'm gonna do this one and we have our first batch of PP I think um, you know the political power gain is really useful. The consumer goods are also very useful. Same here with the war support and the uh, unaligned support. For now, I'm going to invest on the political power gain. Now, after that, I'll probably put uh, the other two. It's also important to go to partial mob or war economy so that we can get more oil, which we don't really have a lot of right now. Um, okay, so the conflict in Spain just finished. And I'm going to stop the land lease. Otherwise, I, I, I always forget to do that. And, you know, you get a lot of equipment. We can also start switching a few of these units to our 7-2s. So let's see. Okay, we'll just need a few artillery, but that's good. That way we can also train them and we can give them a general. So the Mediterranean threat focus just finished. We could go for the alliance. Or... We could also go for general rearmament, um, industrial effort, and the research lot and the factories are really useful. The consumer good factors are also very good. I think I'm going to go for the industrial effort right now. As you can see, our stockpiles are really good. We're going to be more than ready for when this kicks off. So, okay, so we have a batch of political power that we can use. I think, you know, those negative five consumer factors will be really helpful. Maybe get the war support after the war. Um, uh, we shouldn't go to war on civilian economy. And I feel like I should bump up to partial, but I really want to go straight to war economy. So Oh, look at this, free civilian factories. That's probably because of the consumer goods. I have about 52 civilians. I'd max out this places, maybe two here. And then we can start building a few militaries. We're also gonna get factories from the occupation. So we just got our justification ready. They still have the disjointed government thing, which is really good for us. So for the setup, it's going to be very important to have our navy ready. Um, we have a few fuel. Uh, I'm gonna stop importing some of the oil I was importing previously. We also wanna get our air wings first to do air superiority and naval strikes across the channel. If we can get some, we can get this naval bombers here as well, doing those strikes and once we are actually hitting the beach heads um, we can change to our air wings to other things I'm going to unpause for a second and I'm gonna reorganize my navy I'm gonna split every single submarine we don't have many but this will do I'll have Andrew Cunningham as our main fleet and for our convoy raiders I don't think we have a sea wolf me see wolf no we do not but this guy has nice attack 
and I'm also going to split them like this and we would like to convert right here here and here just so that you know there's some interception of the supply that France gets and then our naval invasion support needs to get done here so now that everything's ready uh, we have our task forces here I'm not convoy rating here because we might get struck by naval bombers or something once we actually have secured the beachhead though I'm gonna change the convoy rating from this region to this one and they're actually doing that focus which okay gives them non corner manpower we have our planes over the English Channel and it is time to start a conflict so we have superiority we're hitting a few things and I think we can okay we can launch the naval invasions okay it is important to pause and now we're gonna get our air wings located here make sure that some of them are doing close air support should move them here um, you see that this is in another region they as long as they are distracted and we can land elsewhere we should be fine so let's see how the landing goes okay, we already have a beachhead here we're getting more troops around here I will start bringing a few of the other troops here I'm gonna bring six here I don't know why it is invisible okay so I'm going to move one troop here and then one here and I'll leave the port secure as you can see we're losing convoys here but there's still a few ships we're hitting okay they lost the convoy we're losing some subs, but that's good because we're keeping them distracted. Okay, as you can see, we're breaking off well. We should support this attack and also bring the rest of this divisions here. And we're actually having some progress here. I, I do not know if we're going to be able to break them, but as long as they're busy, that's fine. Try to, if you are able to, try to pin a few troops. So for example, since we're almost breaking them there, we can pin these troops here. Okay, and now our goal is going to join these two front lines. We want to link them and just push straight towards Paris. Okay, also important, we now have gotten the Shadow Scheme factories, which is going to be really good for extra military factories. I have not cancelled the invasion support because this troop is still attacking on Dunkirk. So perhaps we'll, we might not break them, but we'll still keep a few troops busy here. And as you can see, I've almost pinned everyone that's around. I'm actually going to make these guys go this way. Okay, and we've linked our front lines. So what I am going to do instead is I'm going to delete everything, every order. And with a field marshal order, we're just going to push straight into parry. Um, we'll also try to get this airfield here so that we can get some support closer. So you can see we were even getting some overruns and I'm going to put a few of my factories like this. I'm going to start making some anti-air 
And how close is France? France is not that close to capitulation, but once we secure the north, they, they'll most likely capitulate. Also going to send these guys on aggressive so that... Okay, look at that. France capitulated. We've gotten some equipment. And it is important, because since we're going for a few achievements here, we have to take this land here, because this are cores of Kurdistan. It is important to remember that. It is also important to take this state, because in order to get the Brits create achievement, the, the only thing we need to do is to join the Axis. So once we control that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all states first. And you look at that. We are really, really thick now. So let's reorganize. Let's reorganize a few things. It is important we switch our garrisons to cavalry. So the next folk, the next things we need to focus on is gaining control of Turkey, Iran, Iraq, and um, for the Arabian Peninsula we need these two countries. It doesn't matter in which order you do them. So I will start actually focusing on Iraq and Saudi Arabia at the same time. Okay, so I just realized. Um, I have enough political power to get Churchill as an advisor. Um, so I'll hire him. That should give us a lot of, oh, nice war support. After that, I'll focus on the army offense and army logistics because we might suffer from low supply. So we've gotten our extra research slot. I think we should go just for, you know, more ground support. And the supply seems fine. I'm not gonna put logistics on my units yet. And I think I'm going to start the justification on them it's gonna last 130 days and then okay 160 days that's fine let's see are we going to get any okay we just got a guarantee by Canada that's real annoying so what we need to do now is to start training more divisions let's train 24 that we raise the port here uh, I think you know we should might as well get to level 10 and also infrastructure, there's no, an air, there's no air, so that's a priority. Hopefully things will be built by the time we can start the conflict here. Are they also guaranteeing? Okay, so they've got a double guarantee here, which means if I start justifying on someone else, they'll probably won't have enough political power, so that's really good. So the Royal Ordnance Factory's focus has finished. I'm going to do the alliance with Germany, which I believe you need to be in. And once that focus finishes, you will get the Brits kick achievement. I also have gotten a few military factories. Since I'm getting a few res a lot of resistance, I've put some on support equipment and on guns as well. That should be good for now. Okay, so I just got this 12 extra divisions. I'm going to put them in the Canadian board, 16 divisions. And we can also do the focus that's going to allow us to create a rebellion in Canada, which might be very helpful. Notifications ready. Um, it is expires in on October, so two months from now. I will not want to be at war when this focus is finished. And in fact, I want to improve relations a little bit. Um, our construction here is somewhat getting there. We have infrastructure for and a port of four. Our, our troops are there and they're well entrenched, but I'd rather, you know, maximize the time we can have. Um, so I will wait a little bit. Okay, great. We're in an alliance now. And I think we can either do the appeal to Imperial Lo Loyalist focus, or we could go f down to general rearmament. I think General Rearmament will be have uh, an alliance with Germany, France is capitulated and you control Perry, 
you should be able to get the Blitzkrieg focus uh, achievement. I'm sorry. It's August 29th. Let's see. Thanks, the battle plans are ready. Um, this. So I'm going to start with Iraq. Just straight up attacking them. Once they capitulate, we turn around to Saudi Arabia. I think Canada is going to join immediately. Okay. So I've sent a few more troops. I'm just waiting for them to get there. And once the once the six extra troops get there, I will start pushing. I also have a few planes just giving me air superiority. I might send close air support. Do not call the Germans into the war. That's important because they might take stuff. As you can see, the we're breaking Iraq. So that's fine. Let's just go straight for there. I think that's from Battle of the Bosporus. Um, I'm not going to take those 5% consumer goods. So let's see how the situation is Canada. Okay. The troops are getting deployed and I'll just start attacking them. It's important we pin them. It's good if we can get some encirclements because they're... Their army is not that big. It's only 3 to 25 divisions. So as long as we can get a few encirclements, we should be fine. Still have air superiority. And let's see. I've also started a justification in, against Iran. Okay. So now that Iraq has capitulated, we can just take all states. I will pause and I will put some of my troops here. The idea would be to swiftly get through Saudi Arabia. We'll also get a few planes here. Very immediately. I'm also going to research integrated support. And now we have a few more military factories. I think it'd be helpful to put them here. And let's see how this develops. Okay, so they joined the Canadian faction. That's fine. Let's see how... Okay, so as you can see, we've encircled two Canadian divisions. We can just keep pushing this way. Just keep pushing them, let them bog you down. You see the Canadians are not going to be that strong. Um, they're also very nice people. So the, they don't like to fight. Okay, um... I go to another one of the Greek events, so I'll just say that I will get okay. We can get war bonds, but can we get we cannot get war economy yet, which is annoying. So I will get more war propaganda. As you can see here in Saudi Arabia, everything's going fine. They're getting distracted with our territories here, so I'm actually I'm actually going to send this close air support planes here. Okay, so another focus completed. It was general rearmament. We could still go down a few of this, but we could go appeal to Imperial Loyalists or the British Isle. I would like to rush Fighter Command and then air Aircraft Production Group. So I'll switch over each focus once. And right now I'm just waiting if I can switch to partial mobilization uh, since I can't get to war economy. Advance is going fine. They're probably going to capitulate soon. We just need to. Oh no, New Zealand's a major. Okay. So since New Zealand's a major, we're really going to try to get this focuses done. Okay, so we are finished with Saudi Arabia. Um, I'll put some of my troops in the border with Iran and then now we have to focus on New Zealand too. We have this island here, Fiji and New Caledonia, which has a port, I think. So we need to build up, um, 
our stuff there so we can launch a naval invasion. Okay, so the Canadian front, we are attacking them and we'll probably capitulate them soon. I have sent a few troops and I'm upgrading the infrastructure and the port here. I need to bring the Royal Navy all the way here. Um, it's all subs, so. And the, the strategy will be to create a imperialist uprising in New Zealand and then help them. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, air rearmament just finished. So now we can do appeal to imperial loyalists. Okay, so our justification, the justification on Iran is ready. I, I have a few planes set up there. We also have a few divisions that we might um, park on their border. In fact, I think I will. Just straight there. I think I'm also going to get some fuel imported okay so yes uh, you can see um, we're breaking this front easily I will show you what support companies have gotten I'm gonna do military police next And I'm going to hire an infantry expert just so we can get. And once this is done, okay, let's check if our troops are here. Okay, they are. The Royal Navy is also here. We should be able to take a decision. Okay, we just need 100 political power. It's capitulating. Canada is also almost capitulating. Okay, we need to I need to get a few troops there. As you can see, the Canadian front Pretty much taking over everything. Uh, the next thing will be to capitulate Iran, which surprisingly has put up some resistance. And then lastly, we'll do the uprising here in New Zealand. And with that, we should get our our war finished. Okay, Australia is also now a major. Uh, that's annoying. But we're going to use this opportunity to start justifying on Yemen. And Oman. Okay, so Canada capitulated, which gave me a peace deal despite the other countries becoming majors. So, what I will do is take all of this. It is important 
we take all the states. It isn't a requirement, but just to be safe. And I think I will pop at Canada. I don't see much reason why to annex them or, you know, maybe we, you could take this tiles because of the resources, but I'll make them a puppet. Um, so hold on, I'll just puppet them. And this is great because it seems we are not at war anymore. We have a Canadian puppet. We just need to focus on Yemen, Oman and Turkey. Okay, and for construction, I will just build infrastructure here and build up this port. Okay, and the next focus I'm going to do is Fighter Command to get the Spitfire done. Okay, so the justification on Yemen is ready. I have all my troops there. I'll, this should be really fast. And Okay, we took Yemen, we're going to take all states. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this troops on the border with Turkey. I'm also upgrading the infrastructure on these states. And after we knock out Oman, the last we should conquer is Turkey, which we will need a lot of political power in. Okay, they get 200% more justification of. Okay, so the justification against Oman is ready. I will quickly, with this, you should be able to quickly capitulate them. Okay, we're getting a red bubble. That is hilarious, but once we take their capital, we need to put all of this in this border so you can see I have 26 troops if you haven't realized by now we control all of the Arabian Peninsula all of it so we have the states required to get the hoofing it achievement so I'm going to create one new division I'll put you know two camels there and I'm going to switch this one we will need four more divisions so what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy this switch them to camels and pop them here and after they get their equipment you will get the hoofing it achievement just make sure they're fully equipped and that you have more than 30 so for one last achievement that we're going to go for today the last is Turkey I'm justifying on Turkey, it's going to take a while because they have the 200% extra war goal. So I will see you once the justification is ready. Okay, so at this moment our justification is ready on Turkey. Uh, the plan will be to attack and pin these troops here. Then I will launch two naval invasions here and here. The idea will be to disorganize the AI that is not in the front line to come here. That way we can just sweep right into it. We have a lot of planes providing air security, close air support. I have the Navy ready here, as you can see. So I'm going to activate everything and declare war, not calling our allies and... are actually 14 force so they're very strong and this ones are just seven twos but you can see we're just tearing through them we have full air superiority doing a lot of cast damage okay, let's as you can see the AI got all disorganized because of our naval invasions you see they can they saw they sent a lot of troops we can just keep pinning them and pinning them. And one. 
Okay, so Turkey has capitulated. With this, I will take all states, actually. And as you can see, we have a very, very big Middle East sphere of influence, I think. There's no denying. So let's go back to our achievements. First, we control Paris and we're in a faction with Germany and we did it first. So we got Brits Creek. We have United Arabia and we have 48 out of 30 cavalry divisions. And lastly, we need to do House of Cards. So we go to Occupy Territories. We need to find Kurdistan. Okay, which for some reason, I don't know where it is. Okay. Okay, this is really weird because Kurdistan is not showing. Um, I would like to free Kurdistan. Well, I have no idea why Kurdistan is not showing up. I did this achievement as the United Kingdom and I, I was able to get it with no issue whatsoever. So, if anyone knows if this is a bug or this is intentional, please let me know. It's, again, I I got this achievement. And, yeah, for some reason, it just bugged out and it won't let me release Kurdistan. I don't know why, but... If anyone knows, I appreciate if you let it in the comments. Thank you for watching this video.